what's inside an old ultrasonic humidifier? And is there anything worth salvaging? Let's find out. I expect to find a rotating speed control with an on-off switch and a single color LED indicator, a piezo mister, a small fan, some sort of water or water level sensor, and a heating pad. It's simple to get inside the case, just a few recessed screws, and we're good to go. It's about what we expected, a fan, piezo disc, sensor, heater, and control knob. All the wires feed back into an enclosure, so let's take that apart. It looks like most of the wires connect with two-pin JST connectors, so all those parts will be easy to scavenge. There are a few blade connectors, so those wires probably carry a higher currents. Um, it looks like most of the wires carry low voltage DC, but yep, the heater pad and switch look like they might still be carrying AC, so the wires are much thicker. And I even see the heater connector labeled as AC. Let's start with the fan. It's just sitting in a slot and pops right out. It's a standard 12 volt squirrel cage fan, good to scavenge for reuse. The piezo, it stopped working, so it doesn't generate any mist, no reason to save that. But it's in a cool triangular case that I can save for prop building. The piezo has a rubber seal, but the wires all go into a protective housing that looks like it has a MOSFET and heat sink. I'll deal with that later. Let's get that water sensor. I really want to see what kind of sensor is used here. Okay, it's a magnetic reed switch sitting in a hollow tube. Very nice. Uh, definitely going to save this sensor and remember to see if we can salvage the magnet that triggers it. The heater pad slips right out, but there are burn marks on one of the connectors. Nope, not a chance. This thing goes in the trash. The switch looks really interesting, and the entire assembly slides right out as a single unit. Awesome! It has a nice, satisfying click, and a smooth action on the speed control. And all the wires are separated out into individual circuits. Definitely save this. It has all kinds of uses, and getting the housing makes it even easier to reuse. Super happy about this one. Let's take a look at those MOSFETs. Yep, a pretty beefy one, but I'm more interested in the heat sink. And there's another smaller one over here. Let's take the PCB out so we can decide the heat sink and the JST connectors. Oh, and that triangular mount. Let's, uh, let's get that too. Uh-oh. Something melted part of the case. Something got really hot right where the MOSFET was mounted. That's two burned areas in this one unit, so I'm not even going to save the case or even the passive electronic components. No telling what kind of weirdness has gone on. Uh, I'm just going to save the heat sinks and connectors. And maybe the metal cover too. Might use that in jewelry. The rubber gasket might be good for padding or a standoff. And the triangle maybe a sci-fi badge prop oh 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 uh remember that magnetic reed switch let's find that trigger magnet and yes it's a floating ring with a circular magnet inside so when the magnet ring floats up past a certain point the two metal reeds get drawn together the circuit is closed and electricity flows through this is going to be really useful in any fountain or automated plant waterer project. All right, let's review. Not a bad haul from a broken ancient humidifier. We got a speed control with an on-off switch and an LED indicator complete with its housing. A magnetic reed switch with floating trigger magnet. A small fan. Some heat sinks and JST connectors and several decorative items for prop building. And let's not forget the sealed translucent plastic water container. I feel some sort of Roger Dean floating city-styled fountain about to happen here.
Get more details about this and other projects on my blog or Facebook page. Uh, see the links in the description below. And hit subscribe to get all the latest projects. Thanks for watching and go make something fun!